coming on you Slackers, I am your host Slackers Gaming bringing you another Super Smash Brothers video, you know just a discussion video that's what this is, you know speculation, discussion, um, hopes kind of you know that kind of thing so as a Smash fan we all dream about making our own roster and you know I decided I'm gonna go ahead and make my own roster and that's what you see on the screen in front of you now you can Definitely disagree and, you know, no two, like, the, the community is never going to 100% agree on just one roster, you know? But that's fine. That's the beauty of Smash. It's like, hey, I, I believe this character should get in. And other people are like, no, that character is irrelevant and whatever it might be. But no, um, we're going to kind of put all that aside for right now. I'm just going to kind of go over my roster, um... Uh, this would be my ideal roster for Smash uh, Bros on the Nintendo Switch, and you know, as you can see, there's a, <laughs> there's a lot of characters. Um, so a few things first. I decided to work off a couple rules. Um, I tried to keep this as you know legit and within the realm of possibility as you know as possible. I didn't want to go overboard with characters. Um, I mean, I got 72 over on the right hand side. You can see. That represents the number of characters for the initial roster and you're gonna be like wow 72 that's really high well yeah that is pretty high for a fighting game or that that's that's a lot of characters but another thing was I'm also gonna just kind of work off of the you know assumption that there's gonna be no cuts even though I do truly believe there will be cuts whether it's time constraints or just replacing a character for something else or whatever it might be. I personally believe there's going to be cuts, but for this video, we're just going to say no. There's no cuts, so everybody from Smash, Wii U, and 3DS, including the DLC, they all come back. They're all coming back for another another go around at this Smash thing. So I'm going to try to go through this roster quickly um, and, you know, as clearly as I can, you know. So let's just get right into it. So I, I tried to organize it the best I could but by, like, series, you know, kind of grouped everything together um that way you know stuff isn't like scattered all around the screen so let's just start at the top here of course you got mario luigi peach bowser bowser jr rosalina and luma dr mario yoshi wario first newcomer of course i was going to add this guy my number one requested character for the last few games waluigi i do believe um it's his time well smash 5 is waluigi time put him in he deserves it give him the promotion so that's my first newcomer Scrolling along, Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong, of course, are returning. And second newcomer, King K. Rule, another one I really want. Sure, he might not have been in a game for quite a few years, but um, the villain to one of Nintendo's biggest uh, franchises, well, Donkey Kong, you know. Um, he was he was a mainstay. He was, he's well-known. He's well-requested. King K. Rule makes my roster, I believe, he deserves to be in, and not just as a me costume, so... I got King K. Rule. Moving down to the second row, we got Link, Zelda. I'm also sticking with like the non, there's no transformation characters. Every character is their own separate character in this case. So Link, Zelda, Sheik, uh, I got Ganondorf, Toon Link, and I really had a tough time trying to, I really believe, first of all, there's going to be a new Legend of Zelda character. I had a tough time. I ended up settling on Impa, so I'm going with Impa and for my roster um like i said there's i don't know i just have a really i just got that gut feeling there's gonna be oops excuse me i just have that gut feeling there's gonna be a new legend of zelda character so i ended up settling with impa that was my third newest character for the roster scrolling on pikachu charizard jigglypuff lucario mewtwo greninja and you know, decidueye of course one of the, if not the most popular Pokemon character that is being requested or expected for this game. And of course, I'm in that boat, Decidueye. I think the the design of the character, the moveset, it, it, it's all there. Um, it's all, potential is there. So I got Decidueye as my fourth newcomer. Moving on to row three, of course, Marth, Ike, Roy, Robin, Lucina, Corrin. Um, so I don't have any new Fire Emblem characters, um... For the initial roster, I will. I do have one for the DLC. Again, I'll get to the DLC after this, but no new Fire Emblem characters for the initial roster of the game. Then moving on, we got Kirby, King DDD, Meta Knight, Bandana D is my fifth newest comer. 
Um, Kirby series is, you know, it, it, it's big. It, people know the series. And Bandana D has been getting a lot of love um, recently. Um, it was requested on a character ballot. And we know that uh, they're going to take into consideration characters that were voted for on the ballot for future games. Uh, with the love of this character, um, he could be unique. He'd be the first spear-wielding character. Um, he's got his moveset, you know. He's, uh, I believe, I've not played the newest Kirby game, but I believe somebody said to me that um, when you do, like, uh, multiplayer with your friends and stuff, that, like, uh, the second character that always comes up, like Kirby's number one, but number two is Bandana D. So, I mean, that's saying something. If it goes to Kirby, then Bandana D for number two instead of like DDD or Meta Knight or whatever. So, I got, I think Bandana D, it, I, I do believe Kirby does, does deserve another representative for the uh, for the Kirby series, and Bandana, Bandana D fits that perfectly. Scrolling on, Samus, Zero Suit Samus, and yes, Ridley. One of my top three most requested characters, along with a lot of other people. Sure, still a lot of people think, nah, Ridley's too big. Nah, um, Ridley can work. There's there's mods that showcase Ridley uh, working very well. And if you use that kind of st stuff for groundwork, there you go. Rid Ridley can work. It's, it's not really, I don't think it's arguable. Ridley can work. So I do have Ridley on my roster. Again, this is my roster, so... If you want to argue or disagree, that's fine. Just let me know down in the comments. That's all. Moving on. Pit, Palutena, Dark Pit all coming back. Fox, Falco both coming back. And Wolf is returning. Um, a lot of people were very upset with that when Wolf got cut. I was in that boat. Wolf was one of my most played characters in Brawl, so it was really sad to see when him and Ice Climbers both got cut because those were like two of my top five characters that I used most often, so... I do got Wolf coming back, absolutely. Uh, and then we got Ness and Lucas both coming back. Then we got Shulk. Another character or characters. I think they're going to kind of work in tandem with each other. Not, not going to be two separate ones, but Rex and Pyra. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. A lot of people have these uh, characters. So Rex and Pyra from the Xenoblade series. I do believe they have a very legit shot to make in the roster. So... Um, and plus I would love them on the roster. I'm not just putting them on there because other people say it. No, I'm putting them on there because I, I want them on there and I do believe they're going to make it. So I got Rex and Pyra. Then we got Captain Omar, Villager, uh, moving on to the next row. Little Mac, of course, like I said earlier with Wolf, I was very sad and disappointed when Ice Climbers got cut, but no, this time they're back. Don't worry about the 3DS anymore, Ice Climbers. You are here to stay. Uh, Duck Hunt, uh, another newcomer, Takamaru. Now... Takamaru has been, um, you know, uh, who was it? Sakurai. I was trying to get Takamaru into the games, but he was worried about, like, people wouldn't even know who the character was. Well, he did get an assist trophy last game in Wii U and 3DS. Uh, he had um, something in Nintendo Land. I barely remember playing that game. I don't quite remember what it was. But um, it's a character. The moveset potential is definitely there for Takamaru. Absolutely. So, I mean... Could get the uh, the little Mac treatment for assist character to character promotion, along with Waluigi in my in my opinion. So Takamaru's making my roster, and moving on we got Wii Fit Trainer, uh, Mr. Game and Watch, Captain Falcon, Rob. Of course, we already know the Inklings are in as a newcomer. So even if they hadn't been announced yet, they're at the top of my list. I mean, they're kind of like a no brainer even before they were announced. So of course, Inklings. Now I get I have Springman right here. But my idea would be kind of like um, what they did with Bowser Jr. where it's just different skins. So you got like the eight different skins. You could do eight different ARMS characters. Of course, Springman, Ribbon Girl, Max Brass, Ninjara, Twintel. You know, eight different characters. And I think that would be pretty cool. That way you can showcase a bunch of different ones, different characters. Um, they all pretty much have like the same fighting style for the most part. So I think just... Um, yeah, costume swaps, I think that fits uh, the ARMS series very well, so that'd be pretty cool to see, but of course I do have Springman, and, uh, well, we got the Mii Fighters coming back. I do think they could add, like, a fourth class. One I've seen a lot, I didn't use the Mii Fighters a whole lot, um, I wasn't really too interested in them, but um, I do got them coming back. Um, one class, I do see people saying that if they got, like, a fourth one, it would be, like, a major spellcaster type so that'd be kind of neat to see how that would work out so 
Definitely me, uh, me fighters are coming back. And the last row, we do have third party. That is a, <laughs> uh, got a lot of third party. But um, like I said, no cuts from any of the previous, or from last game, so everyone's coming back. So Sonic, Mega Man, Pac-Man, Ryu, Cloud, Bayonetta, and now we get to the new third parties for the game. And I believe one of these characters, most likely, I'm going to say Rayman, which is the next one up here. I think Rayman is going to be announced. I think they're going to do something before E3. They're just going to announce, like, hey, here's the potential roster. They might give us a trailer with um, maybe a couple newcomers in it. Um, I think a third party in there. Rayman makes a lot of sense. And, I mean, Ubisoft, Ubisoft, however you want to pronounce it. Um, and Nintendo are pretty good. Ubisoft, you know, they support Nintendo a lot since, like, the Wii and the Wii U. And uh, I think uh, with their crossover, Mario and Rabbids, that's that's great. Um, some people might have Rabbids. I don't know why. They, they'd make more sense to me as like an assist trophy more than anything instead of a character. So I do have Rayman. And um, yeah, uh, another personal pick of mine. Definitely would love to see fits the, fits the style of the game. Bomberman, I think Bomberman, <laughs> gaming legend, gaming icon, at least in my eyes he is. Bomberman makes the cut. Gino, Geno, however you pronounce it, definitely, it's his time to shine. We got the me costume, same as King K. Rule, but it's this time, no, let's get him into the game. It's time. Gino, become playable. And the last but not least, I think it would be a pretty big bombshell, you know, right before, like, the the release of the game, they released kind of like that one last trailer, got a couple of players, uh, you know, duking it out. They announced, like, say, uh, two newcomers, so first one is... Uh, just for argument's sake, Waluigi gets announced, which I'd be super ecstatic about. And then towards the end of the trailer, you know, they're like, uh, you get like a warning, a uh, new challenger approaching. Banjo-Kazooie pops up because uh, if you don't know, which you probably do because you've seen a whole bunch of these roster predictions. Uh, Banjo-Kazooie is, you know, on a lot of people's rosters. And uh, Phil Spencer, the head of Microsoft, said he would love to see... Banjo Kazooie in the game. They've worked with Nintendo before, so it, it it would work. I would love to see it. You know, Banjo, very very popular, and I think Banjo could make it. And of course, the last character slot is random. That's not a character. Well, is it? Some people main random. Some people main the random button. But there you go. I got 72 characters for my actual roster. And then of course, I there's a highly highly good chance there's going to be DLC. I didn't want to go overboard with the DLC. I didn't want to just add like 10, 15 characters. So I kept it at 7. Um, I tried to be reasonable with it. I believe we're going to get a couple, two, two DLC characters. I think they'll start off like when they first announce DLC characters. I think one of the first two or three is definitely going to be a third party. And I think Shovel Knight is going to get in I over Shantae. Uh, Shovel Knight just, he's kind of like the face of Indies. So I know Indies don't seem like too high of a priority for some other people um not really for me per se but i i do think like if any indie character is even considered shovel knights at the top of that list so i got shovel knight it's dlc now okay so i never played golden sun so miss uh <laughs> i'm sorry if i mispronounce it i always thought his name was isaac is it isaac or isaac i i actually don't even know i always thought it was isaac but i've never played golden sun um, I've never heard anybody else mention his name, like, actually to me. So, Isaac or Isaac? I thought it was Isaac. I could be wrong. But it's about time he gets back into the game. Um, it was sad to see when he got cut as an assist trophy. A lot of people were like, he's not an assist trophy. He's finally becoming playable. Well, no, they just got rid of him altogether. And that was uh, that was a bit sad. It was a bit sad. But uh, I think he's coming back. And he should be DLC this time. You know, a nice little you know, spark for the community that loves him, and they're just like, yes, it's finally time for him. So, Isaac, Isaac, however you pronounce it, uh, I think Donkey Kong would get another one. Um, it was a, it was a little tough for me to either pick Dixie Kong or, uh, Funky Kong. I ended up settling on Dixie Kong. I think she's more recognizable, I suppose. Um, more people seem to, like, it's a, I think it's a, like, toss-up for either Dixie Kong or King K. Rool. 
to be get into the main roster if Donkey Kong only gets one rep. So I think DLC, Dixie Kong, you know, the, the moveset is there again. You know, she, um, the, the like her hair slap or something. I, I don't quite remember. I've only seen kind of like trailers and stuff of her. But she's got her own, does she have like a bubblegum pop shot or something? I, I don't know. Don't know. But Dixie Kong does make sense to, for DLC, if not the main roster. But, uh, and then we got Fire Emblem. We all know the next Fire Emblem game is um, in creation or in the works. Um, there's probably a very good chance that the main character of that ends up being, well, a playable character in Smash. Because, well, Sakurai loves adding Fire Emblem characters to the game. And um, I guess we'll see what happens with that. Of course, I don't have a picture because I don't know who it could possibly be. So I just got a little Fire Emblem logo there. Uh, moving on the last few. Chibi Robo. Um, we, there was like a tweet a while back. I wish I had the picture right now, but it was like Chibi Robo and he was like on fire and then people started, um, going nuts after the smash reveal and like Chibi Robo's on fire and they're like trying to connect the dots with the smash logo kind of being big ball of fire. And they're like, Oh my God, Chibi Robo's trying to say something. I think, I think Chibi could finally get like a. I could, I, th I can, a little easy to say, right? Yeah, I think Chibi might actually have a decent shot at getting in. So DLC, perhaps. DLC, perhaps. Um, this one's, okay. I went with Samurai Gore. I really want Samurai Gore in the roster, but there's a tiny bit of story behind this one. So this one's just super far out there for hopes, right? So say at, um, oh, I don't know. Maybe not E3, but sometime down the line, you know, after Smash releases for the Switch, they announce a brand new uh, F-Zero game. And, of course, Samurai Gora would be in that. Captain Falcon, they'd be doing all their stuff, the racing. Please, we need a new F-Zero game, please. But I think they could announce that because they're trying to listen to what the fans want. And fans want a new F-Zero game. Uh, me included. So I think they could announce a new F-Zero game and then they'll be like, hey, we're showing support for it. So new character from F-Zero, Samurai Goro, is now playable in Smash. That would be so amazing. And this one, you know, you could say, okay, this one's way out there, but so was Cloud. So was Cloud. Nobody ever thought that would happen and Cloud happened. Please, Cloud, come back. Um, but Sora, Sora, I got, I, I just figured, you know what, might, might as well throw out like a kind of a dream prediction sort of thing per you know, to say, so I got Sora on the list, um, I don't know, just maybe they're, maybe it's like a secret and they're gonna, like, actually announce Kingdom Hearts for the Nintendo Switch for some reason, you know, and then they'll be like, boom, Sora's actually coming to the game, you know, it'd be like after its release on PC and PlayStation and Xbox, it'd be kind of like a few months after that, but that'd be huge, they announce it for Nintendo Switch and then, you know, a week or two later, uh, we get a new trailer and Soar gets revealed and it just, oh my god, just think of that, just think of that reaction, that'd be nuts. But uh, yeah, that's my roster, um, hopefully this isn't too long, I don't know how long I've been recording, I don't have a timer, but yeah, I just wanted to go over that, let me know what your thoughts are on my roster, um, do you think there's going to be cuts, who would you cut, who would, um, uh, who would you not cut, maybe not who you'd not cut, because that could be a long list, but um, who would you add? How many DLC characters? How many total characters do you think will be on the roster? Let me know that kind of stuff down in the comments. You know, like I always say in these Smash videos, I love talking about Smash. So, you know, um, hopefully you guys enjoy this little video and uh, hopefully catch you guys on the next one. Peace out, everybody.